the east of Accra, Ghana's capital city, an interesting indigenous irrigation system has developed over the past 30 years. The system is interesting not only because it is located within a city, but also because it was developed by local farmers themselves without external support, land tenure security, or costly infrastructure, and in part in violation of the law. This irrigation system is also remarkable as it makes an asset of urban wastewater by productively using water from kitchens, bathrooms and toilets, as well as storm water and septic sludge. The site is located behind Accra's trade fair center. It is said that farming has taken place at this site for as long as local memory goes back, based on a customary tinua system. The area was long considered as low-lying and less suitable for development, but was recently rezoned for housing. And indeed, of the 100 hectares of agricultural area surveyed five years ago, more than half has been transformed since. The irrigation system in this area has so far been able to cope with this development. It is a flexible patchwork of channels and fields where farmers make use of various water sources, deriving mostly from the Burma military camp, which is located upstream of the farming site. For example, a smaller stream passing through the camp was transformed by the authorities into a storm water drain. Besides storm water, the drain receives contaminated water as well because farmers have broken some wastewater pipes to maintain a regular water supply. Downstream of the housing area, Farmers have blocked the flow of the stream with sandbags at about four to six sites, covering a distance of approximately one kilometer. At the highest point upstream, a robust dam creates a larger reservoir, which allows the farmers to divert the water by gravity across the banks of the stream into their fields. Further downstream of this cascade of barriers, farmers use the resulting pools to facilitate water fetching with pumps and watering cans. Like in most military camps in Ghana, the Berma camp has a sewer system and a wastewater treatment plant constructed in the late 60s. However, due to lack of funds, and despite rehabilitation efforts, its general condition is poor. Farmers are taking advantage of broken pipes and are also puncturing the main sewer to divert the black water to their fields. A small group of farmers use the water from the treatment plant's stabilization pond to irrigate exotic vegetables around the reservoir. Finally, some farmers in the area regularly apply septic sludge from private and public toilets to their fields. They do this by paying drivers of trucks, which are emptying septic tanks to dump their loads into the farrow system in the fields. Although the use of wastewater is a potential threat to consumers' health, the here shown irrigation system is actually posing fewer hazards than what is observed on other urban farming sites in Ghana. A major reason for the lower risk is the combination of various risk-reducing options, starting with the use of furrow irrigation with crops planted on ridges. This reduces the contact between wastewater 
and the crop significantly, especially compared to the common use of watering cans. Risk reduction is further enhanced by the type of crop that is grown here. The preferred crops are okra and maize, whose edible parts grow high above the contaminated water and soil. Moreover, laboratory analysis confirmed that the cascade of dams and small ponds along the main stream provides on-site treatment and sedimentation traps for pathogens. This example shows that also in wastewater irrigated farming systems, a variety of safety measures are possible. Farmers might adopt those voluntarily for practical reasons beyond safeguarding public health.